Let's welcome New York Times number one best-selling author, Ringer CEO, and of course, lifelong Patriots fan, Bill Simmons to the show. Bill, when you were booked on the show, you actually texted our producer, and I'm quoting, I always swore I would never talk to Eli. Is your expectation that I'm gonna ask all the questions tonight, Bill? First of all, if you had told me this was gonna happen 15 years ago, I would have assumed I was being punished <laughs> by ESPN. But now you guys, you guys are meeting. We're all, we're, we're peers now. We're in the media together. I still look at you guys and I see three Super Bowls that my team didn't win. And it's hard to unsee it. 06, 07, 11. I can't unsee it, but I think we can get through this. <laughs> Bill, just, I, got, I got my researcher in my ear right now with the stat. This is coming in. It says quarterbacks with the last name Manning are 5-1 and one against Brady oh and your Patriots teams. I guess my question is, were you aware of that stat? In championship five, five games. Five and championship one championship game. games. In championship, championship games. Championship games. Yes, yes, of course. Champi uh, yeah, I was, I'm glad you added the championship games thing. I, yeah, I, mean, I really don't really care talk. about regular season, Bill. Nobody yeah, really cares about, about the regular playoffs. season. Playoffs. Well, the thing is, we own Peyton for the first half of the of the twenty of the two thousands, and then regular he flipped season. it on us in 06. Regular season. He flipped it regular on Regular season. We peak. We peak in the in the AFC Championship. Well, we had we, what were we up eighteen in Indianapolis, and we had the ball. You brought him. You brought him back, but we were still up, and we needed a first down. And we win, and we get to go play Rex Grossman in the Super Bowl. Can't get the third down. You take care of business. But the helmet catch is the one that that I, I tweeted the picture today. Eli, what was your favorite hold out of all the different holds on that play? Was it the one on Jarvis Green? Was it the one on Richard <laughs> Seymour? Which uh, it was if you had to, if you had to like gold the ball medalist. on his helmet, <laughs> holding the ball on his helmet was my favorite hold. Nice, nice answer. Hey, Bill, in October, after the Patriots beat the Browns, you tweeted, once again, quote, this is threatening to be my favorite Patriots team since 2014. And I think I know the yeah. answer, but do you still feel that way? I don't. And the irony of <laughs> me coming on today is it feels, oh, see that picture on the right? That's me and my dad. That was at the two-minute uh, mark of the, uh, of the first <laughs> giants Pat Super Bowl. It was my dad's, like I think it was his 60th it? birthday. Well, it was, we were like, this is great. Let's commemorate this. And then Eli had other <laughs> ideas and we were hightailing it out of there as a giant. It was honestly one of the worst half hour sports sequences in my life. Um, with this Pats team though, the wheels just kind of came off. And I, you know, even today, like you have Jalen Mills is out. Uh, Jack Jones got hurt during this game, so they're down on cornerbacks. And I actually think Colt McCoy coming in isn't great for the Patriots because I think the Cardinals <laughs> play better with Colt McCoy. So th this could be the end of the Pat season in two hours. <laughs> wow. Are you going to watch the whole game, Bill, or um, are you going to the Celtics game tonight? And, you know, can I, tell, can I tell me where your loyalty is? I am going to the Celtics Clippers game. But the good thing <laughs> now is we have mobile devices. And I can follow the Pats cards game at the same time. But the Celtics, they come to town once a year. I have to go. I have to see them. And honestly, this Patriots team, um, as much as I love the Patriots, I'm not sure they've earned my respect in the same way the Celtics have. I think the Celtics are the favorite son right now. That's what that's what's happened in Boston. And it's going to be interesting to see how Bob Kraft handles that because I think the Celtics have become kind of the team. It makes me wonder, like, I was talking to my podcast a week and a half ago about I don't think Brady's going to retire. I don't think he's going to be in Tampa next year. And I do wonder, is there a possibility he could come back next year? A farewell thing. You know how much he means to Bob Kraft. Could this be the way to put a bow on it? Could he come back for one last season? Now, the, the, the did Brady comes tell back you and plays for the Patriots. For, the Patriots. for one did last Brady season. Did he tell you this? Did he text you this? No, he definitely did you... not tell me this. Brady's not talking to anybody right now. Did you see his team yesterday? They got their butts kicked. It was like it was like thirty-five to nothing. I don't think he wants to talk to one person. Um, now, I, I look. I think Kraft and Brady have a, a great relationship, and you know, one of the things with Mac Jones, you saw him at that turnover before. This has happened all year with them. He, he really took a step back this year. The pocket awareness stuff, like even that interception, 
you know, you either have to get rid of the ball or move up and over and over again. It seems like he just hasn't been comfortable in the pocket. I don't really know what happened for the last shot. I don't know what you guys see. Well, I mean, bad at balls. I mean, it's, it means bad. It's bad pass rush. I, I, I'm going to give him a pass on that. That okay. was his first interception in, in quite some time, to tell you the truth. So uh, he hadn't had a lot of help. But, uh, Bill, everybody's getting hurt tonight. How are, you, how are you feeling? How's your body right now? You feeling good? I think, I think my back just locked up. The Kyler thing looked bad. I was looking at the uh, – the internet, it looked like that was either like an Achilles or Stay an ACL because it was non-contact. Stay with us. I want to finish that after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Bill Simmons still with us. Bill's got to get to the Celtics game. We've got a few questions before you get there, Bill. Back in a 2011 Grantland article, you revealed that Eli Manning was named the quarterback that your female staff members would most want to marry. You push back on this notion asking, do women really dig Eli Manning? Bill, I want to show you a picture that we showed Dana White last week. It's gone a little bit viral, and we have a second. My question is, if you had seen this photo, would you have understood what your staff was talking about? I, apparently, there's an accessibility and approachability with Eli. He just kind of has it. I had no idea. I, I didn't have the radar for it, but we had a bunch of people who were just like, yeah, Eli's adorable. That was like that was the word that was thrown around with you, Eli. Adorable, like the, the guy you want to bring home the mom. You just have it. Look, I mean, I got I got the bucket. I'm at the beach. I was my kid's bucket, you know. I'm glad he's off sides right there. I'm glad you yeah, showed I mean, that. Yeah, look Eli's at me at Ole Miss because... though. Let me look at me back in the day. Look at there, you know, he's yoked right whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow! Well, hey, hey, hey! This was not hey, on the pre-tape. I can bring I can bring some pictures. Hey, you can, there we go. Don't put me up. next to Mac, you know, Mac it's, Jones either. Like, don't we don't have to do a side by side there? It's actually pretty comparable. <laughs> the difference is he was in I, college. I just won my second Super Bowl. I had a, a month of celebrating. You know. You know I stop talking about your Super Bowls with Bill on here. It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> they both came against my team. Um, you know, I didn't like when you showed the Mac Jones photo. And deep down, I think both of you guys hate the Patriots, and it was your way of undermining Mac Jones to the Patriot fans. And it, honestly, it kind of worked because I, I, I didn't have a ton of confidence in him anyway, and then I saw that photo and it was jarring. Personal foul, <laughs> face mask, defense number Bill, 21. I got I to go After back a uh, few years automatic first down. to when the Colts, Peyton's Colts, beat your Patriots in the, in the 07 uh, playoffs or 06 season playoffs, and that afterwards, you wrote something about Peyton on the sidelines when he was celebrating. And so it take me a minute to read this, but I want to get it right. You quote said, Manning looked like a guy who had just spent the past five years dating someone who had never made him chocolate chip cookies. And now he found himself dating a girl who made the best chocolate chip cookies in town. And the look on his face was like, woohoo, I forgot how much I love chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to get chocolate chip cookies all the time. Woohoo. Woohoo! Now, hey. woohoo, uh, Bill. Patriots score. Oh, analogy. There yeah, you go. woohoo! Touchdown. To the question. Woohoo! Touchdown. I mean, is this is this you know what made you a best-selling New York Times <laughs> you know writer right there? Is that it? Yeah, Eli. That was the secret sauce right there. That's yeah. you know the analogies. That's really what, what made me stand out. Yeah, you know that get that was a tough. Back then, I had to write these columns after the game, and I was, like, devastated because that Patriots team was really like a team, a destiny team, even though they had won the three. They they stole this game from the Chargers in San Diego. Troy Brown was playing defensive back. We barely had any receivers, and it was like, wow, if we can do this, Belichick and Brady, they're immortal. And then Peyton took us. Peyton took Bill, us stay us. with us. Uh, I'm sorry, Eli's question took up the whole drive. Yeah, that was me, Eli. Was shot. Going to commercial. Stay with us. <laughs> Sexy. All right, we got welcome back. We got Cousin Sal tweeting at the Manning cast. Got Bill Simmons back on ESPN. Now I'm not ruling out Tom Brady returning to the Patriots. So nice. right there. Speaking of nice. Cousin Sal, I got a, you know, Bill, on your Instagram, there's a picture of Tom Cruise breaking up a fight between Cousin Sal and Jeff Ross while you're all at Jimmy yep. Kimmel's house. So we'll show it after this kickoff, this picture. And I'd just like you to kind of set the scene here and explain what in the world is going on after we uh, after this kickoff. 
Can we talk about how the Patriots' sixth-round running back from last year scored that touchdown? And they had, like, one of the great drafts in recent memory, and now I'm feeling optimistic again. You we, get, we can you talk about the picture. Let's emotion. just talk about the picture, yeah, the picture, and then we'll talk about um, the draft. So Jeff Ross, Cousin Sal, told Jeff Ross he was safe on Dancing with the Stars, and then he got voted out. He thought Sal had ended so Sal pranked him. And in live TV, Jeff Ross gets voted out and his face sinks. It's like, and it's hilarious. And Jeff Ross was mad at Sal for it for months and months and months. And finally at Jimmy's house for football. And somehow I missed it. It was one of the weeks I didn't go. Tom Cruise shows up with his mom and does the Tom Cruise thing. He hears both sides and does this whole Tom Cruise, you're his friend, you're his friend. You guys have to work this out. And they made up because of Tom Cruise. This is an actual thing that happened. You think Tom Cruise would come back and kind of help Bill and uh, Tom make up as well? Or is that, is that off the table, you think? Bill and Tom. Belichick. Bill Belichick, Brady. Tom oh. Brady. I mean, no, yeah, no. Bill Simmons. I thought you were talking Brady. about no. me and Brady. I was like, I love Brady. I don't, um, no, no. Yeah, Belichick. So Belichick and Brady, what do you think? Peyton, you know stuff. You guys are in like you guys are all in that weird secret quarterback club. The, did Brady get tired of Belichick? Was it just like twenty years of he needed to break out of it? Like what happened there? Because they won all these. They won six Super Bowls. They had all this stuff. And is there anything left? Is there a threat of like I don't know camaraderie? Anything? I think is Connor. Is Connor hurt. Connor's hurt as well. Stay with us, Bill. Got another oh injury. God. You're lucky, Connor's Peyton. You got out too. of that question. Oh, Peyton's off the hook. Yeah, it's like you willed that injury to happen. Welcome back. Still have Bill Simmons with us. Bill, I think Tom and Bill Belichick are good. We wanted Tom to be on a guest uh, tonight on the show. We thought after the Niner game, might not be a good idea to ask him. We knew we'd have you. We'd get plenty of Patriot stuff. So I think they're good. But I want to ask you, Bill, in addition to all of your duties, you also host a very cool podcast called The Rewatchables, where you rewatch old mm. movies and talk about them. Deep shot here, out of bounds. I have something I want you to rewatch and kind of get your take on here, Bill. We'll play it here in a moment. And my, I guess my question is, do you think this play still holds up today? This one right here, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> still holds up. Still a catch. Seymour does a stunt. Seymour's on the outside, does a stunt, comes in, and I, basically it gets piggybacked by your center. Pass interference. And then Sean O'Hara admitted later that he choked Seymour during the play. He, like, grabbed him by the throat and actually choked him. This is, you can Google this. You but, can do that. You, you, can know, choke, you can choke people in there. You know, Eli, it. your best play in that game was not this play. It was we almost strip-sacked you right before this, and I don't know how you held on to the ball. I've also studied that maybe 50, 60 times. Just my physique. My it's all the, all, the, all the lifting I did you, in that physique. You had this time. weird sixth sense in the back that somebody was coming for you. That was – oh, my. I, thanks for bringing that up, Peyton. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Bill, speaking of that game – you also are on record as saying the single greatest pass you ever saw Brady throw is at the end of that Super Bowl. We'll show yep. it here in a minute. I think Brady throws it from his own 12 to the other 20. It gets tipped right before Randy Moss could catch it. How many times have you watched this play and what makes it well, so amazing? Right hash mark too. I think the ball went 75 yards in the air if you include the hash marks. And Moss was running full speed, his third down. You knew they were going to him, and in person it was breathtaking to watch. Because Moss, like, watching Moss run, there was nothing like it in person, right? Two guys on him, and he's beaten both of them. And the pass, he jumped, like, probably like a quarter of a split second too fast for it. And I think if he had just waited, I think the ball was there. And they would have had time to down the ball and the whole thing. But um, I think he threw it 80 yards. You know you really love your quarterback when you start celebrating their incompletions. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, yes. it's kind Eli, of that's, there, Bill. That's next Eli, level. this isn't going great for us. I, I really thought we'd be getting along better. I don't know. You, yeah, you, I was going to praise really. you for the Manningham pass, but now I'm not going to do it. I'm not giving you You're that. You're not doing it. 
<laughs> All right, Bill. You know, the thing is, have a, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, in 07, I thought they legitimately beat us. I thought in 11, we gave the game away, which is weird because the, <laughs> uh, the 07 team was, was 18 and 0, but they punished us. They dominated us. They controlled the game. Like, they deserved to win that. 11 was like, I don't know how we won, how we didn't win that game. I, that one is like just the comedy of errors. Hey, Bill, what defense are the Patriots going to play here? Blitz or zone coverage? Third and nine. No, they're going to drop back. Good call. Good prediction. Uh, oh, what a catch. Nice <laughs> catch. Out of bounds. An unbelievable catch. Inbounds, out of bounds. Hey, Bill, so after the uh, Celtics game, let's say you pop into a bar. Let's say Brady's in one side of the bar, Larry Bird's at the other. You got your Shrimpsky over here, and you got Bobby Orr over here. Who are you going to hang out with wow. first? Oh, that's an amazing bar. Can can somebody <laughs> open that bar? Uh, well, you have to go Larry Legend. He's, you know, the most important Boston athlete of my life. And plus, there like, you go. super cool Indiana guy. You, Peyton, did you ever hang out with Larry Bird? You must have. I did. And he's like Mr. I did. Indiana. I played golf with Larry. Larry, Bur Larry Bird can drink beer while playing golf. It's impressive. I, I couldn't keep up with him. I loved it. I love it. Eli, Larry's the, Larry's the only athlete ever who won three MVPs because he stopped drinking beer. Like, literally, yeah. that's that was the reason. He was like, yeah, I, I gave up beer, and now I'm in better shape. And he ripped <laughs> off three straight MVPs just from not drinking beer 365 days a year. So You can Indiana see election. Eli still – you can still – you can see Eli still drinks plenty of beer based on that photo. Can we yeah. see it one more time? I, I, I <laughs> no, feel like it's, no, just, we're good. it's too just quick. Go Mac. Go Mac. You don't need me. Oh, listen, Pate, Eli's I'm fine. Go, I'm when going into Eli's my adorable, archive now. Fine. I'm going into the archive of all my pictures of you with your shirt off. It's coming. You know, the gloves are off now. Oh, I'll be ready. Oh. Bill, if oh, you got wait, any pictures of your shirt question? off, you can send it over. I can put it on TV also. You can ask yeah, a question. Far away. What? Far away. What's the biggest fight you guys have ever had? I felt um, like a, a couple years ago, we were on a golf trip. And I was trying to take a nap, and I was kind of in a corner bed, and he came up behind, he kind of had me leveraged into the wall, and he gave me a wedgie. He almost went atomic with it. Oh, it was and atomic. It I was, was atomic. not, I was, I was <laughs> over the about head. to be asleep. I was so angry, basically because the nap was interrupted. The, the atomic wedgie was like an added bonus. He was so proud. Uh, we almost threw down, but I, I couldn't, I was in pain. I couldn't, I couldn't fight real well, Bill. He was mad. He said you know over his favorite underwear that I ripped, he, and that's what he was mad about. Also, these are my favorite underwear, and I <laughs> totally ripped them off eventually after because he you got know over the head. You what's great about that story is, I thought Peyton was going to be like when when I was seven, we were in bunk beds, and but no, the story was like three years ago. No, no, yeah. it's current. He was forty. He was forty-one, forty-two, I think. Hey, Bill, have you ever heard the story? Eli and I are coaching the Pro Bowl this year, right? And I don't know if we get to pick a player that doesn't get voted in like it used to be, but I played for Belichick one time in a Pro Bowl, and they were telling stories about the times that he was the head coach of the Pro Bowl. One time he picked Peter Bullware because he knew that Art Modell would have to pay Bullware a million-dollar bonus if Bullware oh. made the Pro Bowl, Belichick <laughs> hated Modell. And another time, he picked David Ben, who was a long snapper, because he was dating Pamela Anderson. And Bill thought the players would like seeing Pamela at the pool in Hawaii. She didn't come, but that's a cool Belichick story. I don't know if you knew that one or not. That's a great one. I mean, Belichick has this rap for being super boring because of his press conferences, right? And he does these things. He never wants uh, the same screen again. Um, he never wants to basically give anything away in the press conferences. But then when you see him in these other contacts, like when they're doing the NFL top hundred and stuff like that, he's like as big of an NFL fan and historian and all this stuff. Like he, he loves all this stuff. I think he's also really funny. He just, we don't see it. You're not going to see it in the press conferences, but I think in real life, I've heard like so many versions of like that Pamela Anderson story. But he shields the public from it because he doesn't want to affect the team. At one of those same Pro Bowls, he invited me and Sean Payton and our wives to go to dinner. We had this great dinner, conversations, telling stories. Yet, on the way to the restaurant and back, Bill organized a limo. Bill sat in the front seat 
with the driver with the divider raised up. Like, he wanted to go to dinner with us. He didn't want to ride with us 40 minutes in a limo. That's too much. <laughs> For your long yeah, story. I'm you really tired interested of your long to... stories, Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see how long he's going to stay because it seems like he really still loves it and enjoys it, and I still think he's good at it, right? I think what changes year to year is the coaching staff. And I think the the, co the assistant coaches this year, I think that's been one of the problems with the team. Like, he took a chance with Patricia as the OC, and, you know, like the, the Buffalo game, I thought, was just confounding. Like, they – just throwing these short passes and they were playing right into Buffalo's speed. They weren't challenging them. You agree with Mac? You, you Miller. agree with what Mac said on the sideline? I did. About... I, I did. I was on text with it. We we're like, why aren't we throwing on these guys? What are we doing? Why? Like Buffalo's fast. The last thing you want to do is just do quick stuff. Like that. I'm not Mr. Football, but at least I know that. <laughs> it's like it's like the hands. They're trying to hands check. Eli. Did, oh no. I think they we were on the that. same page, Eli. They were blitzing. I think I think the linebacker was trying. I think Collins was trying to get him out of the blitz, and it, and, and they couldn't get the check. Ooh, the crowd the noise at home sometimes down. hurts a defense trying to audible. Bill, not everybody was on the same page. Oh, he dropped it. Gee, they're trying to get into that tight tight end in the flat, and they're a block for him. He really could have thrown it. I think the defensive end got in his way. That was classic. Agro. Um, yeah, the Belichick, after the pandemic, we spent all this money on these weapons. It was very uncharacteristic of him, and the weapons have not paid off, I think, like they thought. It was like, you know, Aguilar born, the two tight ends, and play it's been game. okay, but, like, they don't really have it. A, is that a delay game? No. Oh. Delay game, yeah. See, this is the thing with this season. You delay saw the game. Minnesota game on Offense. Thanksgiving. Like, they've been really Mark sloppy. Yard, Third this down. whole season, like very uncharacteristic Belichick team, just a lot of mistakes, I know, a lot of like, yeah, you know, the roughing the punters I mean, and things that never happened. The turnovers, I mean, they even never turned it over on the, on offense, and they've had a lot of turnovers. You just don't see that ever. You think if, if Brady comes back as a quarterback, is Patricia and Joe Judge still the o co offensive coordinator and quarterback coach? Wow, wow. Just trying to, just, maybe I'm asking Cliff, Bill. Maybe it's Cliff Kingsbury. Wow, oh wow, we're Could getting a lot, of, a lot of drama. Well, like, if the cards go 4-13, and 13, is Cliff Kingsbury coming back? Who knows? I, Cliff's going to come back and play quarterback with... for the Patriots. He was a great seventh-round <laughs> draft choice by the Patriots. He, he kind of got – he kind of got, got – Brady screwed him. He never got his chance to get on the field. Selfish right, Brady that's, taking every rep. That's chance. definitely what he Offense, tells people. Speaking of seventh-rounders, I, I said this, Sal, and I did a podcast last night. I'm all in on Brock Purdy. I think he's pretty good. I think I think for what that team needs, he he knows how to just complete passes and move around a little bit, and he's got charisma. Like, what else do you need if you're the Niners? They're loaded. Mr. Irrelevant, Mr. He's, he's hot. You're drinking the Kool-Aid after two games. I like it. He was uh, – he was at our football camp, what, uh, Eli, and uh, he's a good kid. Uh, he's talented. Obviously, the confidence he got from yesterday from beating Tom and the Bucks, uh, that's only going to serve him well you know, down the home stretch here. Well, I'm glad we got to share yeah, that terrible Patriots overconfident. drive just now. Oh, you're Bill, worried he's going to be Bill. overconfident, Eli? I mean, it would be hard not to be overconfident after you just, you know, Put up 35 against Brady and the Bucks and playing playing great. The city's loving him. They're chanting his name. So I like him. See. Tampa I like might be too. terrible though. Hey Bill, like Tampa have is, fun at Tampa's... the Celtics game. I, I know you. I know you got a great seat. So there's your room when you were a kid, right there. Yeah, look at that. I love that. <laughs> Thanks for doing it, buddy. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for coming on. See ya. Merry Christmas.